Hello all, welcome again. Uh, the objective of this session is to see how to use the other goods receipt when uh, we do not want to receive the materials on the basis of a purchase order or maybe with respect to a production order. So what are the other alternatives left? Now initially for the first time when we are uploading uh, the trial balance uh, stock, uh, that time we can use a moment I-561. However, if apart from, uh, after that, if in case you would like to, uh, for any test purpose or um, any other purpose if you would like to use then you should not use 561 anymore usually 561 GL would be blocked once the trial balances are reconciled now uh, what we do uh, we use the other moment type the other moment type for other goods receipt is 501 so let's try doing that so the objective of this session is how to do goods receipt with respect to 501 moment type now the only difference between 501 and 561 is 561 is used for the initial trial balance uploading however 501 is used for the other goods receipts into the system and it can be used anytime okay so let's go to mb1c now uh, the moment type is 501 and the plant is 3000 and the storage location is 0089 so i'm going to press enter I'm going to use the same material as I usually use uh, the IDS material less compay and the quantity let's say that we pick up thousand and then say each and then I press enter now here this is a non batch managed material so if the batch has been grayed out else it would have automatically assigned a batch basis if we would have taken internal number assignment so I'm going to save now the expectation from the system is because this is a warehouse material I'm going to put into a directly into my stock you know, one of the storage type so my expectation from the system is that it should straight away take me to a transfer order so I'm going to save this and this document is posted and now I'm going to press enter so you can see here the material document is posted and now I am going to press enter and the moment I press enter it should straight away take me to you can see here create transfer order for the material document automatically it will take you now here the palletization you can see here it is like 100 quantity is one storage unit type so there will be 10 storage units that will be created now i'm just going to press enter the moment i am pressing enter automatically 10 entries should be created so you can see here the 10 entries have been created so my transfer order is created the transfer order number is 108 so transfer order is created now let me go to LT22 because I would like to see that what is the status of my transfer order. Now you can see here for 108 there is 10 entries that has been created. Reason being this is my transfer order. If you can see here there are 10 entries that has been created with 100 each because the loading of equipment quantity what we have defined is 100 each becomes 1 p1 so here uh, we have got 10 different SUs and uh, you can see here also the storage bin system has automatically identified so whatever the empty bins in the sequence uh, would be coming up automatically it will straight away assign and for each and every material if you see here this is your con 261 262 this is a 261 and 264 so the destination bin is changing but the count in the 902 is same so there is one count that got generated for 1000 quantity however for since now it is going to place into 10 different materials so there would be 10 new counts that will be generated so now let me confirm this so so the moment I confirm this material, the conf I confirm this transfer order, this would be added to the stock. Right now, let's see what is the status of the stock. I'm going into LS24, the same material, LS Comp1, and 
here if you look at uh, I have around 1100 per Pick quantity there is 1000 and uh, in 902 there is total stock is like 1100 okay now let's save this and let's find out so let's confirm the transfer order let's see what is the outcome so I'm just confirming internally and then save so the transfer order is confirmed now let's go back to the ls24 and then see that what is the changes that we can see now so here in 902 you can see that the thousand quantity is gone now it's only 100 quantity which is there left out and apart from that you can see here that from 11007 all these 10 entries has been added 111 06 05 04 03 02 01 010 98 76 so this is like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so these are the new 10 entries that has been added to the bin uh, sorry to the storage type so 10 different bins has been occupied with 10 new cons so this is how you would be utilizing 501 moment type so 501 moment type straight away adds a stock to uh, basis the you know the put away strategies or the picking strategies so 501 is basically based on the put away strategy whatever has been defined and whatever is there according to the middle master it will straight away go into that bin so you need not to do anything it will straight away system would guide you so thank you for watching this video if you like it please do subscribe and uh, uh, I would be expecting your comments, feedbacks. Um, feedbacks would be highly appreciated. Thank you so much. Please do subscribe to my channel as well.